Not there. Directional angle. Or direction angle. I don't know. Something angle. Speed number. This is never going to change. We'll make it uh, 16. That should be fast enough. That's pretty much it. Again with the update. We're gonna have to add um every bullet to an array on the game screen class so we can update it every frame like this. And we'll do that in one second. I guess I'll only need to change this once, so. Angle times. Again, I'm taking the angle in radians, so I need to convert it to degrees. Um, yeah, angle. I'm not making it like less than oh negative fifty. I'm not making it like less than zero or greater than five fifty, which is the very edges of the screen. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, because uh, I want to be sure that the bullet is out of sight before it's removed. And this seems like a pretty safe way to do that. Oh, you know what? I will do this somewhere else. And I'm going to return a boolean. So if I return true, then I want the bull to be removed. If I return false, then I don't want it to be removed. This way, the game screen can take care of the array and make sure it deletes the bullets out of the array as they needed need to be deleted. Pretty smart, right? <laughs> no, I'm sure um, a lot of people have way different styles than mine. I'm just scripting with the hope that mine isn't that bad. Anyways, we'll do this right here. If we want to be the move. Then drop target button. We'll splice that out of the relay. <laughs> the relay. The array last. And I cannot type at full 40. Uh, there's no else. Okay. Everything seems like it's good, so I'll go ahead and try to make it. Yeah, I'm not going to add the bullet inside the gun because that's just a mess of hierarchies. Instead, I'll just do here. Then, uh, I don't really need to make a variable. I'll just add it straight to the array. So for now, we're just going to do this.x and this.y, but... um. Well, I can say angle, but we're gonna need to change this very soon, so that it comes out of the barrel. Draw target. Okay, let's try this. Oh wow, that's a lot of errors. Oh oh, I never set up the bullets class. Oh, I 
should do this first, shouldn't I? Bullet people, you were right. All right. Now we have no errors. Game is started. True. I don't remember what that true is, but I'm sure it's very good. So now it doesn't seem to be adding anything. Let's see if it's even getting this far. Add something stupid. I, I don't know why I wrote ADD, but ADD something stupid. So, oh, maybe I'm not adding it to the stage. No, I am. Maybe I'm giving it the wrong coordinates. <laughs> maybe I should take that out. No, nothing's going on. I don't see it anywhere. I tried making the swift bigger, but didn't do a thing. We'll see if it up daft. I don't know what that is. Nope, it's not coming out. So I think it's. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Hmm. It's making the bullet. Adding it to the stage. Maybe I shouldn't change the rotation. I don't know where it could be. Okay, what's going on? Front X, it's a Y angle. I'm getting an angle. Oh my god, I hate when stuff like this happens. It's just so annoying. It's probably some little thing too. Alright. Everything seems to be working. So what could it be? Um, I will take this out. I don't know what it could be. Oh, there it, <laughs> there it is. I don't know what I did. So I guess it's getting deleted every frame, huh? Why? I'm returning false every time. Oh my god. Why? What if I try returning true? Good. Turn false. What's so wrong about this? Ah, oh, man. I'll just make that a little bigger. What could it be? 